Welcome. This video is hopefully going to be fairly short. We're just going to talk about how to solve an application problem that involves a system of linear equations. First thing I would like to do is just read the problem. If we were in class, I'd have you read it because you're more interesting than me. But let's try. In one day, a movie theater collected $4,600 from 800 people. The price of admission is $7 for adults and $5 for children. How many adults and how many children were admitted to the movie theater that day? All right, um, in real life, this is great information to know if you're in the business of maintaining and running a movie theater. There's probably software that can do this for you, but it's an interesting problem. When I am faced with word problems, especially in an algebraic context, I like to identify two different kinds of information. The first kind of information that I want to identify are all the numbers that involve dollar signs. These are what I call value numbers because this is the value of something. The other number that we see here does not have a dollar sign in front of it, and this is what I call a counting number. It's the number of actual things that if you sat in a room, you could physically touch them and count them. And these numbers are value. They're important to distinguish between. If you remember, often we can figure out what our variables should be by looking at the question that the problem is asking. I'm gonna turn a light on because I'm seeing shadows. All right, so if I look at the question, it's asking how many adults? So that is obviously a variable. If I knew, I wouldn't be asking. So I'm gonna call that A for adults, number of adults. It's helpful to write down what your variables are in case you get confused later. The other thing that it's asking for are children. Number, children. And that's how I know that it's gonna be a system of equations because I have two variables. If you have two variables, you need two equations. Okay, so now we have our variables. We can write our equations. One of our equations is going to be the value equation. And this is typically pretty easy for students to write. I know that it's $7 for an adult. So $7 for each adult. And I know that I'm gonna to add to that $5 for each child. And I know that all together, this needs to add up to $4,600. So you'll note every number in this equation, it has a dollar sign involved or as part of it. My second equation does not use any of the dollar numbers. It is strictly how many adults, how many children came into the theater. Oops. And I'm gonna add these together and they better add up to 800 because that is our counting number. So if we were just to count people going in, this would be an equation that we could use. Once you have your equations, oh, I was going to write under here, the counting. Um, once you have your equations, you can just solve them using your normal systems of equations um, method, whether it's substitution or elimination. So pause the video and take a moment and see if you can solve this system of linear equations. All right, here's what I came up with. You could easily use substitution in this problem because the leading coefficient for both A and C in this equation is a one, and that lends itself really well to substitution. However, I chose to use elimination. I did so by multiplying my bottom equation by five to come up with a system that looks like this. I used subtraction because I wanted to eliminate the number of children in the problem. So I did 7A minus 5A is 2A, my C variable cancels out, equals 600, got the value of the adults. And then I substituted the number of adults into my counting equation and learned that there were 500 children. When writing your answers, make sure you use a sentence form or at least a quasi-sentence form. If you don't differentiate between the two numbers, because they are not X's and Y's, it's hard to determine which number represents what. So be sure you always label your answers. And that is how we can solve a system of equations in an application problem. Hope you enjoyed.